and the Caribbean is now classified as a post-tropical cyclone, but it is still packing dangerously powerful winds as it batters Canada. Christian Benavides is in Miami where another tropical storm is expected to strengthen into a hurricane soon. High winds and heavy seas swept this home off its foundation in Newfoundland. Multiple homes in Port Basque were washed out to sea, and at least one woman was rescued and taken to the hospital. Storms of this magnitude don't normally pound the Canadian shoreline like this. Where it fits in the history books, we'll have to make that determination after the fact, but it, it is going to be a, certainly a historic, uh, extreme event for Eastern Canada. The damage has spread beyond the shoreline as well. The driver of this truck reportedly escaped with minor injuries. Power lines and trees are down throughout the region, leaving thousands without power. This is the same storm that battered the Caribbean for nearly a week. More than half of Puerto Rico is still without power after Fiona slammed into the island last Sunday. We want to send in large amounts of food and water, um, but because of the infrastructure damage to roads, there are some areas that we just can't send trucks. Meanwhile, another potentially devastating storm is gaining strength in the Caribbean. Preparations are underway in Florida as Tropical Storm Ian is churning a path towards the state. People are stocking up on bottled water and filling up gas tanks. Asking people to make sure they have a plan. And then the next thing that we're going to be pushing out is know your evacuation zone and know your home. We call it know your zone, know your home. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has already declared a state of emergency as Ian is set to hit the state as a hurricane next week. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Miami.